perfection sustainably, and it's happening right here in our area. Luis Ortiz is live from Alberta wearing a fancy hat, giving us another look. <laughs> Hello, Hulisa, can you hear us? I'm going to guess the answer is no. I think no. They cannot. Well, hear this us. is going great. Okay. Should we do some emails? <laughs> I'm guessing something. We got that fixed. Mm -hmm. Why okay. don't we do that? All right. Uh, so today we asked to see your pajama pics. You know what? Pajama pics. <laughs> you hold your pajama pics. Hold yours. A Folsom Art Gallery is offering guests a new exhibit to enjoy this weekend. Lori Wallace is live, hopefully, from Gallery at 48 Natoma. Yes. With a first look. There she is. Hey, you saved the show. <laughs> hey there, good morning, you guys. Yes, so this gallery uh, is opening up today with this display that you're looking at here. And this was something that was actually planned. Pre COVID, they got put on hold. So, very exciting yeah. to open the doors up to it today. Cindy Abraham is here with us this morning to talk about the carousel exhibit, and it is so cool. It's really cool, and I'm thrilled to have it here. Last year, we actually received the artwork, it was here in the building. They told us we had to shut down, and I had to call the artists. They weren't even home yet and tell them to turn around and come back and get it. We were all in tears. It was just so sad. Here we are a year later and we're able to offer it again. So um, we have two artists here. Uh, first of all, Jim Berger has done the photographs. They're from all over the world. Carousels, um, antique horses from museums. He is a fanatic about the subject. He knows what he's doing and it's beautiful photography. He also has some great collection pieces, uh, the brass rings, um, a couple of carousel horse examples from his collection, and we're just thrilled to be able to have it here. Yeah, and when you say he's traveled all over the world, I mean, he made that his mission to go everywhere and see all of this. He has for years. He and his wife have gone everywhere. Um, as a matter of fact, they have another big trip planned in September. They're going to New York um, to photograph some more exhibits uh, that they have. Um, these are uh, examples of the brass rings, patches, little mementos that they've collected around. Um, and we're, again, so excited to have his work here. We offer something different. Uh, four to six times a year, we change our exhibits, and this one opens at 11 o'clock today. Yeah, and now that things have changed and restrictions have been lifted, you're able to welcome people back. So you have a lot of fun things planned, I'm sure, now, too. We do. Um, it's, we're still limited somewhat, but we're thrilled to be able to have people in the building, which is so excited. We've uh, continued on with the Art Center here for a while, um, but again, very, very limited. And now we're just able to open the doors and greet people and have tour groups come through again and still with limits but we're just happy to be doing what we can all right go, we'll go for a little walk here because i know cody you're probably really into this these are some really cool pictures and things that that you guys have available here for the public to view and there is another artist that is also featured here coming up in the 10 o'clock hour we'll walk around a little bit and show you some of that work as well guys i'll send it back to you in the studio you are correct i am totally into that that is really neat <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Well, we get to